guys, I'm back recording live from well, my bathroom. So today I wanted to share with you a story about these lipsticks that I bought. Well, they're actually lip gloss and I'm wearing one of them. It's called Vintage by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Well, technically it's not Anastasia Beverly Hills and that's actually what I wanted to talk to you guys about. So, I was on AliExpress and looking for some lip glosses and things to buy and as I was searching searching I couldn't find anything so I went to the search box and I typed in matte lip gloss and the first thing that came up was a suggestion to search Anastasia Beverly Hills so naturally I click it I'm all excited like oh my gosh so everybody is buying it so it must be good right if the if it's on the internet it must be good right so I clicked it it came up it looked legit I bought it and I wait about two months for it to come. Within that two months, I'm searching, I'm googling, and I learned that Anastasia Beverly Hills is like a legit brand. So of course, I had like the ultimate blonde moment. No offense to anyone. And apparently, I'm the last person that ever heard of Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I got the makeup, and to be honest, I really, really, really like it. Like, I don't know what to say. Of course, I feel a bit compelled to go ahead and purchase the actual Anastasia Beverly Hills brand so that I'm not just out here wearing the fake stuff. But, I mean, it's legit. Look at it. To be real, I kind of like it better than the MAC ones that I own because this actually goes really matte and it's so pigmented. Like, I can't lie. I love it. So I'm going to show you guys what I purchased. Look at a few colors. It was $12 for $25. I'm actually missing one. Yes, $12 for $25. When I learned about Anastasia Beverly Hills, I found out that it's $20 each. So I saved a lot, but I don't really want to say save because it's not even real, right? So I'm not a makeup snob, but at the same time, I had no intent on actually purchasing the fake version of like a really good brand, but I'm just going to show you what I got anyways. So this is vintage this is the one that I'm wearing I would swatch it out but yeah it's not gonna happen today sorry guys um yeah so these are the colors there's one missing it's like a a little darker than this one right here you can't probably see that one but it's a little darker than this one and these are the 12 that I got now I'm gonna add some photos and let you guys know the ones that I tried already I have not worn all of these as yet but I can't lie, I really like it. The formula for these are like crazy good. Like, it's good. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. It's really good. Um, the only issue that I had with, um, I think I wore, let me see if I can find the one that I wore. Sweet Talker. This, Sweet Talker. So I went to Cheesecake Factory had some awesome food everything was great um but the issue when i put this on i ate of course you know the grease and stuff it, it clumped it was weird this formula for this particular lipstick i don't know what happened but it did not work out too good the rest of them i had no issues and this one like i thought that um bloodline this one i'm going to post a picture i'm going to add a picture to this video with this one i thought this was legit but this Vintage thing that's on my lip right now. Oh my gosh. I love it. So Yeah, the another you could tell the difference between the real ones and the fake ones. I actually went to um, Macy's I know Sephora that's in It's also in JCPenney, but Sephora carries Anastasia Beverly Hills, but they do not carry the lip glosses I don't know if it's just the one that's um at my house, but they don't carry that. So I went to Macy's and I couldn't find one to like the ones that I have here. I don't know if there's like a color difference or they just came made up these um, swatch colors. But the, the formula for this is really thin. So like for this Sweet Talker, I had to apply it numerous times. Not throughout the day, but just in that when putting it on, it's like really thin. And it didn't give really good coverage, but I will. That's why I said I don't know what's wrong with this particular formula for this particular color. But this one, 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 
twice and it was good so I don't know now I'm not trying to tell you guys to go out and purchase the fake Anastasia Beverly Hills but what I am telling you guys that if you were gonna do it I mean it's not bad but I'm definitely gonna go ahead and get the real legit thing then I'm gonna come back and make another video and compare the two so you guys know what the differences are um, other differences you could tell between it is obviously the packaging. It, the package actually, it looks pretty legit, but on this, you can see that it's not real. I mean, you know, like when you have a company, you pay attention to details, you make sure that everything looks right. And because this is fake, obviously, you can see the differences between the, um, the branding. It's, it's a little different. If you were to compare, actually look at the real thing in this one, you would see some big differences. But I haven't tried the real ones on to tell you the difference between each formula. But what can I say? Like I said, it's good. That's good, guys. That's good. I'm sorry. Um, to any makeup snob out there, don't come attacking me. Oh, you got the fake thing. I'm sorry, but it's pretty good. It's good, guys. It's better than my MAC. Better than, it, it, like, it's really matte. And you don't really get that. Sometimes you have to put, if you want to be a little, you know, ghetto about it, a little ratchet, put a little, put a little baby powder over. This is my MAC, um, Men Love Mystery. It's matte, but it's not as matte as this. Obviously, the two, these are two different um, colors, but if I want it really matte, I could put like a little baby powder on it. Or I know they do sell like, um... A matte lipstick that turns anything into matte but I do what I use what I have so I do that but this you don't need anything like this here so if this is good and this is supposed to mimic the real thing then I'm only assuming that I get what the hype is about Anastasia Beverly Hills so now I can go and get the real stuff so thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed